I'm Leonardo Ramos Jr. I'm a barber at Ace of Fades, and I work at the Chula Vista location. Come check us out one time, man. Man, how did I even start? That's a trip, thinking about it, because I'm the little brother, you know? Well, I got two little brothers, but my sister, so she she had this one guy, right? He was pretty cool, like, he's playing soccer and shit, you know, doing his thing, and, and I was about, 14, something like that, and he was always in, in and out and just doing this thing, making money, and he was always cutting hair. And he, he just told me, you know, hey, I'm gonna have this one day, I'm gonna do this one day, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna get that shit. Like, yeah, that's right, you know? So I saw what he was doing, and little by little, I was following along in his footsteps, you know, my, my brother-in-law, Polo, and uh, I was about 16, 17. I was a shop boy, I was cleaning up everything in here, you know, doing my little thing, and he signed me up for school. And I guess it kind of just went from there, you know? Just, I said, fuck it. <laughs> I wanted to go to the military. I tried that about three times. Obviously, it didn't work. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, everything happens for a reason. So, yeah, it all started because of Polo. I've been doing it for about five, six years, I guess you could say. I was 16, 17. I'm 22 now, you know? <laughs> Getting by, here we go. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, he was the one that really just motivated me to get better. You know, I, I, had, I had barber school. I had some some few mishaps, but you know, you just gotta keep it pushing. And luckily I got my barber's license and you know, I was pretty happy about that because that's the one thing I did pretty young and I want to keep it going. You know, obviously I got other desires, other motivation, everything I gotta do, you know, for me, my future, my family too. So it's just, I don't know. It's, it's crazy how it all mixed up because I did not think I was gonna be a barber. So how the fuck did I come here, you know? It's pretty cool. And I can say I love what I do. I, I, I can honestly say that. It's a blessing. Yeah, hell yeah there is. Yeah, well, I mean, I see the future, I mean, with, with, with that, but I also do it, I, I wanna fight, you know, I wanna, I wanna box, I wanna do shit that others haven't, and also I wanna use cutting hair with that. You know, I'm doing two things in one, you know? I love both of them. I love training, I love fighting, I love cutting hair, and I love spreading love, you know? That's, all, that's what it's about. So my, my goal and, and the things that I wanna do is, impossible but what the fuck you know if it was easy everybody be doing it you know what i mean so i that i would say those are the goals i do want my own barber shops too you know maybe open up with polo but but as, as far as my dreams it's, it's honestly <laughs> it's honestly fighting i've been fighting my whole life too so i mean that's, that's how it is <laughs> yeah what well, happened well, since i was younger I was a wrestler, so you know, I got my big old neck, you know? <laughs> but I was a wrestler, actually, that's one of my big passions. I just messed up, I, I fucked up a lot, and uh, I didn't choose the right decisions, and that's why I feel like barbering, you know, it's, it's a great decision. It's, it's, it's a lifestyle, you know? You know, barbers don't retire, they fade away. I've just always been fighting. I've always been, you know, throwing in, just jabbing, boxing, just training, really hard training. And then uh, I've been doing that shit, ever since I can remember when I was younger with my two little brothers because I got two little brothers so we fuck each other up all the time you know and then my sister would fuck us up <laughs> tell me about it I'm talking about my sister man my sister used to put me like she used to put her knees right here right and she I'd be like ah oh. she, she be trying to spin our face man I'm like oh shit you know so we always been just grew up just rough housing you know having a good time and just that tough love shit so it's it's always been there and it's, it's pretty dope, cause I incorporate it, cause I'm a cowboy. I mean, I even look like it, but I ride, I ride bulls, I ride horses, I do all that. You know, we love that shit too. And I'm, I know I'm from Sinaloa, so when it comes from that, I'm from like the mother country of that. You know, and I'm actually about to go there next week to go see my family. You know, it's pretty cool. And that's so I guess it comes from my roots. You know, so when I say it, like I was born with that, <laughs> I was born just like I say, man. My mom always told me these hands were gonna do something. You know. And so, so far they have been. You know, I've, I've been cutting hair and you know, doing my thing and I'm doing it with my hands. You know, and luckily, you know, I want to keep doing it with this. So, you know, my hands are going to take me a long way. You know what I mean? So, I guess, I, just, I guess you could just say it's been my whole life. <laughs> you know, I've been fighting. You, know, been, you, you fight for your life. You know, survival of the fittest. Yeah, okay, so, okay, so like when I get in the zone, right, I'll be cutting hair. I, I, I'll be cutting hair and I'll be doing good, right? And I get I get in the zone. Well, it's just like training, you know? I it, out, of, out of anything, I could just make it happen. You know, you flip a switch just like cutting hair. You just, you gotta be faster or you gotta, you gotta, you know, in training, you gotta finish that rep. You know, it, every, it's, it all relates. And the reason why I can say 
that it, it, it's compatible because they both push me to be better every day, you know? And if, and if I don't train one day, all right, I'm gonna hit it hard and cutting hair, you know? Or if I'm gonna cut hair, go go to the gym, you know? Be smart and just do, do wise decisions so you can stay out of trouble too. So that's where I feel like it's gonna help me and benefit me in the long run too, you know? Cause it is, it's, it's gonna keep me on the right track, you know? If I just go do here, do my work, do my shit, and then go to the gym, grind out, knock my dick in the dirt, and do what I gotta do, and then boom, you know? It will happen over time. It's gonna be, it takes patience, you know? It does, but I know with the, with the right work ethic, with the hard work and the right mentality, you can do whatever you want, man. The world is yours, literally. That's, that's, that's how it is. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd say it's my mom, you know, and not only that, you know, we, me and my family, we have been through a rough struggle. My little brother, you know, I got my, I got his tattoo right here. You know, he had, he was diagnosed with a certain illness, you know, he had cancer and stuff. And that, that was one of my motivations, you know, he, he beat death, you know what I mean? Not even that, he beat, he beat the odds of somebody telling him, hey, no, you know, he said, fuck you, I'm gonna survive, you know? And he's a survivor, and you look at him now, this fool's fucking jacked, like, I, I have to step it up, you know? So when, when, when I say an individual, when you when somebody asks me, who are you doing it for? It's just for my family, you know? It's just for my mom, it's for my sisters, for my two little brothers, it's for my dad, it's for my dad that's up, it's upstairs too, you know, rest in peace, and it's, it's all that. It's, it's, it all, like I said, it all just comes into one, you know? It's just, it's just how it is, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I guess, I guess he, I guess, I guess they are my motivation, you know? I mean, I, I don't really think about it that way, but every time, like, when, I, when I'm doing a set or something, I, like, just right here in the back of my head, man. It's right here, you know? And my sister, too, you know? My little brother, Isai, my little brother, Kokis, and then Polo, too, because he's the one who brought me here, you know? So it's just, I have a lot, I have a lot to prove. Not to them, but to myself, because I hold myself accountable to, to get this shit right, you know, to do it. And I have to do it. And that's it, and I feel like I'm on the right track. I'm only 22 years old, man. I got my barber's license, you know what I mean? And, and I'm only gonna get better, and I'm only gonna do better. And that's what we have to do as a family, you know? That's, that's what AOF Familia is, and that's, that's what we try to encourage each other, to push each other. You know, I try to tell these guys, hey, 20 push-ups, you know, let's go. <laughs> you know, fuck it, you know? I'll fuck around, you know? You got you gots to, you know? You, you stay healthy. You, you be happy, you know? Happy life, this is how it goes. You be healthy, for real.